Okay, so using blood oxygen on the Apple Watch Series 6 is actually pretty simple and there are some tips that you can do to actually get a better reading on your watch. So first off, you just want to go to the blood oxygen app, which is right here. That's the symbol for it. And you just simply tap on that. Now, if you open this app for the first time, what it's going to look like is it's actually going to tell you a few tips and tricks on how to get a more reliable and accurate reading. But basically what it tells you is you want to make sure the watch is good and snug against your wrist. So you may want to adjust your strap a little bit and tighten things up. You also want to make sure that your watch is pretty flat on your wrist as well so that sensor can get a good contact with your arm. And you also want to make sure that you just relax. Set your wrist down on the edge of a table and preferably do not talk while this is actually doing it. So we can go ahead and just go in here and we can hit start. And you can see you're going to get a little reading here. Now, again, this is not a medical device, and that is a little bit low uh, for me. But, yeah, you want it between like 95 and 100%. Now, another way you can actually do this, maybe to get a little bit of a more accurate measurement, is just take your watch off and set your finger, your index finger, on the back of it. Because that's usually how blood oxygen is measured in like a doctor's office or things like that. So that might give you a more accurate uh, reading, but most of the time, if you just keep this thing snug and you keep you know, your wrist flat, it gives you a pretty good measurement. I guess I can try the actual uh, different way here. So we'll go into blood oxygen. And it's kind of hard to actually get your finger on the back of this thing, but we'll see what we can do here. And it actually kind of worked there, so 97%. My last reading on my wrist was 98, so that's probably about right. Uh, but yeah, that's just a quick demo of the blood oxygen sensor on the new Apple Watch Series 6. So what do you guys think about this? Is it a nice feature? Is it a good feature to have here? Uh, how often do you think you're going to use it? This does take periodic readings throughout the day, so that's pretty nice. Uh, but again, your watch could be uh, in different positions throughout the day, so those readings might not be accurate. But overall, when you're taking the test exactly how it tells you to do it, there's usually no problems whatsoever. But anyways, just a quick demo of blood oxygen on the Apple Watch Series 6. Hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll catch you all on the next one.